the animal over 400 million years of evolution was designed to live in a water environment. When you take it out of that environment, it's going to cause problems. Going as far back as 1963, I have been involved with oceanariums where sharks were on display. And from time to time, an animal would die and I would be called on to perform an autopsy, a necropsy on the animal to determine what went wrong. Why did the animal die? In a number of cases, especially with animals that had recently been captured, it was not uncommon to, during the necropsy, discover that internally vascular vessels had ruptured during capture and that the animal had bled to death very slowly over time uh, due to these ruptures of vascular vessels. We determined because sharks don't have an abdomen, they don't have muscles that hold the internal organs in place, that when you take a shark out of the water, that the organs are loosely in the abdomen, in the coelom, the body cavity, and that they move around. And when you take an animal that's used to being in a neutral environment, the ocean, where its internal organs are supported by the water pressure that surrounds it, and you take it out and you put it on a platform or a boat deck, now gravity takes a hold and the entire weight of the animal is depressed against the internal organs. Because of that, it's not uncommon for capillaries and other vascular vessels to rupture as an example, a full-grown adult white shark, let's say that weighs 4,000 pounds, in water sometimes is neutrally buoyant. By that I mean when it's dead it will float at the surface, like a cork. When you take that animal out of the water, it now weighs 4,000 pounds. All of that weight is depressed against the internal organs. The animal over 400 million years of evolution was designed to live in a water environment. When you take it out of that environment, it's going to cause problems. And internal injuries are just one of many problems that these animals face when we remove them from the ocean.